Hello there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ole Borger, and today I'm going to build three different houses. I'm going to build two commoner houses for living quarters, and I want to build a blacksmith. It's going to be very simple buildings, but they will be playable inside. I decided the size was going to be like these dungeon tiles, so it will fit into my system. I have a plan that I will build some more roads I like systems instead of this cave stuff, but that will be in another video. It's going to be six by nine tiles wide and depth, and I'm going to use this army painter foam for the base plates. The principles will be almost the same as this crypt I built for my graveyard. There's no interior on this side, but I will have the wall around here to indicate where it is, and then we can make some playable interior. Enough talking, let's get started. Hey, Future Ola here. I am, um, yeah, sorry. This project took way too long than I expected. Um, yeah, I'm almost done with all the buildings, but still some paint is needed. We're gonna fix that in the end of this video. But uh, this was a work in progress for almost three months. And I just started editing this video now, and I have 80 gigabytes of video footage from this whole project, and it takes so damn long. Sorry about that, but now we can get started. First, I will cut out the three base plates for each building. And then I will cut out the grid, so I have something to build out from. Then I draw a layout for the blacksmith and the two other buildings. I have 3D printed some rollers for cobblestones and other surfaces and I use that for all the exterior so it will fit in a future dungeon tile road tiles system. This is one of the most time consuming parts of the project, cutting up bricks and laying them out. Fortunately, I should only make three layers of bricks in this project. I will cut out some balsa wood that's 5x5 five five millimeters for the windows, doors and half timbering. For the walls, I will use some 3mm cardboard uh, with a foam core. And this is for stability, and then I have room for the stucco and the half timbering footage of it. But I cut out some 1 by 1.5 inch pieces of foam for the stairs to the second floor in one of the buildings. It took up too much space, so I will cut it so it will fit more tight. And we need some visuals for a basement stair as well. Well, enough playing around. Now it's time to make some wood grains with a steel brush. All the walls are done. And now I will do some of the half timbering. And the five millimeters is a bit too wide. So I will try to split the beams in half so it will look more natural. You also need some more details for some of the beams on the blacksmith building. And there's a lot of more work to be done, like the flooring for the second floor on the other building, and some walls for the second floor. And then I got the idea I wanted to make an overhang for the second floor on the building, and make some fake beams underneath it. The walls on the second floor also needed some glue and some balsa wood for the corners and of course the half timbering.
For the roof on the side of this blacksmith, I chose to use some of the popsicles and cut them to pieces. It took a while, but here it is, and now it's time to glue it on. And we need room for the kiln. So I need to cut out a piece uh, for the chimney and extend the chimney with uh, some layers of bricks. Then I had to cut a hole. I just marked it up with my exacto knife, and then I broke off three of the boards again and uh, just cut them off. To make some better support, I glued in a piece of wood on each side of the hole. Cut out a hole in the top of the chimney and put in a piece of straw to uh, make it a bit more interesting to look at. And then I gave it some texture with a piece of curled off tin foil. And more roofs to be done on the other houses. Last time I made a roof, I used some 3mm foam board, but uh, this time I would do it more, a bit more simple, so I chopped up some cardboard and cut some slots with my bandsaw. And then it was just gluing it in. I've made a ton of doors before in my tavern, and I will put a link up in the corner, but uh, here you can see uh, quick door being done, I had to make 11 of those for the three houses. I used some more of the popsicle wood for the floor planks on the second floor in the two storage building. On Google I found this image of some stairs. They're just visuals to indicate some basement stairs and they will be glued in later. With some curled up tin foil and a small stone, I made some texture to the stone floors inside the buildings. I also got this roller from Green Stuff World with the texture of floor planks, and it worked out pretty okay, but I had to cut some extra slices with an exacto knife. Put in some glue, and boom, we have a floor. I also cut up a tiny piece of foam for a doorstep. It's mud podge time. It's time to soak it up with some of that magic stuff. It's just uh, mud podge mixed with black paint to make some more durable surfaces and tighten everything together. I also use this Panzer Grey in my airbrush to prime it up. is what I've been looking forward to this whole project. Starting to give all my stuff some color and bring everything to life. Putting on the washes, using some dry brush. And yeah, I will just lean back and see all this stuff come to life in a colorful world.
Besides of the kiln, I also had some other 3D printed parts that needed some paint. And there was a couple, and it took a while to paint, but I really enjoyed it. And some army paint or speed paint also helped with the process, so it didn't took that long. Now I just need the final details on the buildings. I used an army painter military green to make a moss effect and uh, some wet effects uh, to pop up the details a bit. As the final detail on the building, we just need to put some green and grass and then we are pretty much done. We finally made it. I have three finished houses here and it's, I just love it. Um, the functionality and the gameplay is going to be awesome with these buildings. And I will show you a bit how uh, they were. And then we will have the final reveal. And here we have the first house. There's nothing much special in that. But still, it's fully playable. I just need to put in some furniture here. And we're ready to go. And here we have the two storage building. I can lift off the top so we can see the top floor. I need some more furniture for, and then we can remove this. And here is the door for the basement. And to make a bit easier access, I made this extra wall that's removable. And here you can see the stairs to the basement. Here we have the blacksmith. And it is that simple. I can just pull off the roof. Oh, some of the interior has flipped over. And here it is. Fully playable with characters and everything you need for a very good gameplay and a good story. And now for the grand reveal. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. This was a long process and I promise you it won't take as long for the next video. I have a ton of things going on right now and I think I have plans for almost 10 videos in the future and ideas. The thing is I just have to make it and time is valuable for me. I really hope I earned your subscription. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye for now.